Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this uh, audio waveform in After Effects. It's really easy and really quick. Uh, so let's just jump into it. Uh, we have After Effects open here and I have added a, uh, my sound. It's a song. It's the intro song for Camp Keyframe. And I'm going to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 is fine, 25 frames. Uh, let's make that an even two minutes. Okay. And we're going to add the sound in here. And I want to create a new uh, shape layer. Where are you? Uh, no, I'm sorry. A new solid. Uh, let's make it black for my background. BG. Yeah. Let's lock that. And then I'm going to create a new, another solid. Click here first. Layer a new solid. And let's call it audio. Color doesn't matter. And then we're going to add the uh, audio waveform effect. If you go to your effects and presets and you type in audio, where we have the audio waveform effect, put it on your solid layer and it creates this line. And then you get this uh, in the effects controls. Effect controls, you can uh, select a source for the audio layer. So in this case, it's going to be my layer number three, sound. So let's do that. And then we can already see something happening. If I play this back, there you go. And you can um, add different elements or can you can um, customize this. So the displayed samples is how many of these uh, things you would like to see. Uh, maximum height and the audio duration. Let's turn it down a bit. Uh, audio offset to offset it a bit won't be necessary. The thickness of your line, uh, okay, and the softness. If I zoom in here now, it's kind of blurry, and if I to put it at zero, it's just sharp, okay. And then uh, the colors, of course, the inside and the outside color, and uh, then we have uh, waveform options, mono, left, right, just leave it on mono, and your display options, you can uh, do it like this. There's the analog lines. Or you can go for digital, which has more of these digital bars. Or you can even go for analog dots for a more stylized look. So I'm gonna go with lines right now. And that's basically it. If you want to change the, the position of this, you if you um, move your um, background, you can do that. But you can also change the length of this by your start and end point, if you just drag this in and drag your start point in, then it, it's a shorter uh, shorter line. And what you can also do is if I duplicate this uh, by pressing Command D, and um, I'm gonna call this Audio 2, and let's create, uh, let's make this blue or something. Yeah, and this one as well. So now that's a blue one, and if I change this to dots, and I zoom in here, I have, I have these dots on the end. But if I change the, the displayed samples and the height and maybe the duration and give it an offset and just play around with those uh, effects and you can overlay these um, different audio uh, waveforms to get a more uh, cool, uh, cool little effect. Cool, so that's it. That's a quick and easy way to create an audio waveform in After Effects. One last thing you can also do is, if I just delete this one for now, uh, if you want this uh, waveform to uh, uh, be applied to a specific path, you can just select your uh, audio uh, layer and go to the pen tool and create uh, a line. Just by, so you're now you're drawing a mask on it. Uh, if I open it over here, I see that's mask number one. And if I go to path here and I select mask one, then uh, it will be uh, on that line. And I can, I can just even change that in between if I like. Um, so then you can create even more crazy little things. Okay, thanks, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.